FluidFlow 3 version 3.3 .3 is now available for download from our website. This up update includes significant functionality including the introduction of templates and auto relief valve sizing. This short video describes the new slurry functionality integrated into FluidFlow 3. Until now, slurry modelling software has forced the designer to make a choice to model the slurry as a heterogeneous settling slurry or as a non-Newtonian, non-settling slurry. Slurries are rarely as black as white and white as this. In reality, slurry systems often behave as a combination of, of these two flows. Broad size distributions and variations in slurry composition due to process instability lead to situations where the friction loss associated with both slurry classifications must be considered. We are proud to introduce two new modelling techniques that take this compound flow into account. The four layer model classifies the slurry into four components based on particle size with each component possessing different friction loss characteristics. Empirical comparison indicates high level of accuracy especially for sands, tailings and paste systems. Professor Liu has developed his method with over 50 years experience of slurry pipeline design. The slurry is classified based on the concentration gradient across the pipe cross section. The Liu method caters for settling, non-settling and compound flow. The four layer model was presented by Selgren and Wilson in 2008. The model works by breaking the slurry down into four components. Particles sub 40 micron are considered to be part of the carrier fluid. Particles between 40 micron and 200 micron are considered as a pseudo homogeneous load. Particles between 200 micron and 0.15 times the pipe diameter are considered as heterogeneous load. Particles higher than the 0.15 times the diameter are considered fully stratified. Professor Liu Dijong is a distinguished slurry pipeline designer based in Beijing. He has over 50 years experience in slurry design and research and has contributed to many associated Chinese design standards and guides. The model estimates the particle concentration gradient over the pipe cross section to determine the slurry characteristics. It then automatically applies the relevant friction loss model, settling, non-settling or a compound flow exhibiting characteristics of both. The Liu method also has a new method for calculating critical deposition velocity. This comparison chart shows a friction loss profile over increasing D50 for three different models. The reported lab data in red and the four layer Liu and WASP models for comparison. As well as increasing D50, the data also represents different slurry comparison. These two points demonstrate exceptional correlation of the new methods for gold tailings. All three tend to underestimate the oil sands tailings slightly. And again we have exceptional correlation for fine sand. Towards the coarser end of the spectrum, the four layer model continues to offer an excellent degree of correlation for the coarse waste rock and also the coarse sand. To use either of these new models in Fluid Flow 3 version 3.3, simply click on Options, Calculation and select the Slurry tab. The methods can be selected here. You can see on the input tab that slurries are defined in the same manner as they always have been. Specify a solid, a concentration and a particle size distribution. Another exciting new feature in version 3.3 is the ability to create a rosin rambler particle size distribution from D50 and D85 values. This allows all the methods to be used with the often minimal data available at the start of a project.